First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. As you guys may have been following on fun and other outlets literally everywhere, the amount of events that are being canceled or postponed keeps climbing literally like even before the show started. So as is written, um, over 20 events have been impacted, and this is sure to keep increasing. Um, there's been a lot of conversations around if championships is going to happen or what should happen to teams who do not get to play until after championships or if teams should get a refund. Um, but I want to spin it spin this in a different way. If it keeps being postponed past championships, should first consider keeping infinite recharge for a second year so all teams have an opportunity to experience it fully. What are your thoughts, Justin? Uh, I, I don't think we should replay it necessarily. Like, um, you know, I think it'd be interesting to see at the end of the year what percentage of teams, A, got to play a single match, um, and B, like, if they got to play one event, how many did they plan on going to? Like, how many how many matches, I guess, ideally would have been played and didn't end up being played? But I think that, you know, I do think they're using the word postponed instead of canceled for a reason. I think you're going to get a lot of events over the summer. I think you're going to get some events in the fall. In general, I think everyone's going to get a chance to play um, Infinite Recharge. And I think we'll be, everyone, <laughs> after, after months of, of competition... Um, I think everyone will be looking forward to putting Infinite Recharge behind them and looking forward to something new in 2021. So um, when Tyler suggested this question, I thought it was actually you know super interesting to think about. I actually wouldn't be – I don't think I'd be upset to see it for a whole other year. Now, that being said, I think there may be some rule changes or maybe something that would still come out at kickoff, you know, that would, like, be slightly different but not too different. Um, but, yeah, I just I, – I said – and as I said in the TVA – uh, game day chat um, it's just the season will always have just like a giant asterisk after it mm. um, you know it's just there's so many teams that you know won't be able to compete won't be able to qualify for 2020 um, you know teams that are you know can't submit for awards and then just robots that never get to play in the actual physical season you know it's, it's just it's always going to have a sour taste in our mouth and you know it's just out of a lot of con a lot of a lot of out of our control and stuff, but I, I for one wouldn't be. I think it'd be interesting to see it play a whole to play out a whole other year. But by that point, you know, I understand that you know it'll just be a lot of the same old, same old, and just we're kind of retired to the same game. But you know, sports sports things never change. So, um, but this is my thoughts, Tyler. So, okay, so two things come to my mind for this is one, first has been, you know, the, the concept of having games for multiple years isn't new to this year, right? It has come up before and there have been conversations for it before. And that, that's kind of where the thought came out of is if it's a possibility. Now, I don't think it's going to happen. Would I be, so let's, let's unpack this. Do I think it could, it could happen? Like, do I think, would I be okay with it happening? I actually would be okay with that happening. Uh, the, the C robots fully get a year. And I think a game like this, you can make it tougher. Like, I mean, we're already, I mean, it's already tough enough, right? To get, we're going to talk about later, uh, trying to get that stage three RP uh, during quals, which I don't think anybody's done yet. Right. So uh, only, in, only in playoffs so far, and that's not an RP. Uh, so I think it'd be interesting to see. Now, here's why it's not going to happen is that Star Wars Force for Change has given first a lot of money. Will that money return next year if the game comes back? Probably not. Possibly, but probably not. Because that's and if you look at the way that first is done, sponsorships for I mean, maybe they will. Maybe maybe Force for Change is like, you know what, we'll we'll give you a, a butt ton of money once again, and that's okay. Uh, but you know, when I look at you know justifications for things that first is doing, you have to treat first like a company. And even though they call themselves a sport and then sometimes they call themselves a company, I don't, I don't know which way they go. But uh, when you look at the business decisions behind it, it's very not practical to me that they're going to want to uh, do things over like that or try to get new sponsors. Same thing with events as well, too, right, where, uh, you know, they're not going to cancel champs until the absolute last minute that they have to cancel it because there's yeah. millions of dollars invested in it. Right. Yeah. And, and the same thing with uh, with redoing events. Now, do I think events that are postponed once again will will happen? Yes, probably. Uh, however, something to keep in mind for that is that virtually none of the events uh, have anything to do with first money or first books at headquarters because all the districts and all the regionals fundraise separately than what the main books of first does for things. So it's actually not that big of a deal of first. They'll lose on a bunch of events uh, for mm -hmm. things. It's a big deal of championships cancels because that's where a ton of their money is invested as well. Yeah. Uh, Christine, thoughts from you? Yeah, I, 
I don't know about replaying it for another year, but it's just it sucks for the people that put in so much time into this game, like in the game design committee and the review committee on top of like all the work that the teams have put in. Like I wish that we could see this season play out, but I don't know. I think, I think it's going to be difficult considering they're probably already like complete with the next year's and who knows what sponsors are attached to that game. And I wonder too, like as somebody that is mentoring a team that like, receive grant money for a specific program for a specific year and we have to report back Mm. about like our funding and our use like like what are we gonna do about like i I don't think they would hold it against us but it's you know it's kind of in the same thought line of like you know the districts and like the regionals that have you know put deposits down for venues and like all this other stuff it just sucks like yeah hopefully we can kind of learn a lot of lessons from this too like in figure out a way to to have a plan or something at least on some level let's uh take a short break and thank our friends over at striker uh for really supporting us striker has done so much uh to help fun stay loud live and independent and you think hmm fun sold out they can't be loud live and independent anymore not true uh we, really what it comes down to is that striker has said hey you know what we love first you guys love first and we just want to bring some people on board pay them a ton of money and support them being in first. How does that sound? And you know what? We've have vetted quite a few sponsors before. We haven't taken really any on board to this uh, magnitude that we had before, and we're very happy we have because Striker has really come through uh, in, in being big for us and being big for first and just supporting uh, so much in the first community. So go check out. They have a Striker's Careers blog, or you can check them out at careers.stryker.com uh, to learn uh, so much more about what's going on, so many positions and jobs. Uh, if you watched Infimidation, we were uh, trying to find me a marketing job uh over there and there was like 60 of them available just in michigan and then like another 100 available worldwide so uh so i might be looking soon who knows hopefully my boss isn't watching right now uh so with that said uh go check out uh careers.stryker.com uh if you want to learn uh, about more about striker and they're just gorgeous facilities uh that they have all the way around the world and how they will support you being first love them so much thanks a lot striker uh for allowing us to yeah. just you know do crazy ad lib ads as well too because they're they're just chill with everything we do and we love them for that. It's Thanks good. a lot, Striker. Yeah. Christine, right. I think you nailed it on the head. It just sucks. Like I mean, that's really yeah. what it is, right? It, it, this is a this is a crap sandwich for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> and honestly, I think the biggest crap sandwich being served is like probably to Frank right now because he's trying to probably juggle like all the like flow of complaints and like panic that are coming in, and then trying to figure out like what the upper like level people are doing and on top of that trying to like siphon in information about like school districts and different countries and travel bans and this and that and it's like i could not imagine the pure chaos going on at headquarters right now and i can guarantee that they're just trying really hard to like figure out what the right decision is but hopefully we'll hear from them soon it still would be nice to hear but, sooner and later though i mean i i yeah. do empathize, yeah. i do empathize with that i really do um but on the other hand we have you have tons of customers that are waiting to hear from you uh, oh, absolutely. Things. Yeah. and you know there, there's been that website that finally got updated today on some of the list of cancellations but once again the cancellations are coming out from all these different sources and all these different ways that they're coming in. And it should be centralized all through first. First should be the Mm -hmm. only place first headquarters should be the only place that sends the stuff out to everybody instead of having some do emails and some do, uh, you know, uh, social media and some doing different mediums and stuff like that. Like first should be the centralized hub for all this. And that's, I I think it's a big fail on their part. I understand that Mm -hmm. this is a new developing situation for them. Uh, but there's gotta be some plan for when disasters happen and how, how things like this should be handled. If not, I hope that they really do get that together for future times uh, as well, too, because that's it's, it's a very big frustration. Like, I know we're called First Updates now, but I'm sorry. Tons of people have been hearing about cancellations through us and through Chief Delphi. That should not be the first place people are hearing about this from. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I agree. Um, I do want to read something off in chat real quick, uh, by the way. As we go through, uh, Reese seven four five seven said, uh, "Can we uh, hear your input on how champs qualifying will be held for teams that might need to be able to compete uh, due to postponing after champs?" Uh, so, uh, just real quick, so for the China events, it's really the only one that they've made a decision for, right? When they canceled the events in China and said these teams will qualify for the twenty twenty one championships. So, is that possible? Are you going to see? 
Are we going to see all of well? uh, China? So the so the events in China that have been postponed, they, they were the first events, right? Because China was impacted first. Um, they said, okay, uh, whoever qualifies at these uh, the the events in China and Beijing uh, after your championships will qualify for the twenty twenty one championships. So is that just the what what we do with all postponed events? Is we just qualify teams for next year? I don't really know what else we do. So that was like a thought that I had too. Is like we really I don't. I would imagine you can't really double the capacity at this point, like for a single, for either one of those champs. So, like, and if it's, I don't know, if they don't cancel like the entire season, which I would imagine at some point they have to, like, I know, like, an option that I had in my mind for like New England could be like the, if we cancel the rest of our events in New England, like, at that point, you know, just do like a mega district champs where next year, you know, we, figure out a way to get the funding for two fields and basically structure it like Michigan where you have way more representation at that level. So it is mm. like high level, like competition on the field and off the field. And then it gets bracketed down like they do in Mich basically just do Michigan. And I think that would be a fair solution at least to give teams that like championship experience, but not doubling up on like the actual, you know, world yeah. championship. I can see that. Yeah. Slots. Cause like, Personally, I'm really against like letting teams qualify through this game for a potentially new game next year. It just doesn't seem mm. like right. And I know that the yeah. this virus is a very new fluid situation and everything, but I think there are plenty of other except like teams understand nobody's like i can't believe this is happening everyone understands the virus is new everyone understands that it's a fluid situation nobody really knows how to handle yet i think if they said that you know what we're not really sure what to do yet we're not going to go to the to the step that they already told china that they would with qualifying teams for 2021 i can imagine like you know uh, just go to super chant or you know super districts like um christine had said do a festival some sort of festival in the in the fall um, something over the summer, just say there's no champs and, you know, we'll just hit it again next year. Like I, you know, I think there's a lot of options that don't involve um, qualifying 70, 80, 90 or more teams to the 2021 championship before the 2021 kickoff just seems kind of bizarre to me. Yeah, that's a great point, Justin. I didn't really think about that, about qualifying teams for a different game, but yeah. So what's like damage control here, you know, and I think that's a great way to do it at this point is we don't know, but let's, let's take what we got at the moment and um and we'll go from there because yeah it just seemed it would seem a little unbalanced right so this year you probably you can you can fill all these empty slots with a bunch of waitlist teams and then next year you might have a lot of like overfilled spots for teams you know it's just it's a yeah i think it, everybody needs to digest it a little bit and then uh we'll just go from there about we'll yep all right and well my, we did have oh, go ahead sorry i was gonna say my last thought on all of that is i think everybody just needs to like relax and wait and not stress over what they can't control and yeah. we just gotta kind of wait a lot of money invested though lots oh, of money I know. invested yeah dude i know trust me and, waiting and to see if we can get a lot of that money that we invested yeah. well, <laughs> back uh, is and i'd love to know what like the if there's a, a the um fine print on what you signed like is there stuff in your, oh, yeah. it's, in it's, your it's, registration it, yes you know, it, that, it says you do not get a refund I, I don't I can't read yeah, it verbatim right now, saying. but it says and random we, acts of just, God and stuff like that do not constitute a refund. Well, it's, it's the same thing when you go on cruises or, or whatever, you know, like it, this stuff, unfortunately, I, mean, I can't buy travel happy, insurance but, through first. But yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.